In this video, we're gonna cover how to start a business from scratch, business one-on-one for beginners, and how you can start a business for under $40. Stay tuned. Emmanuel Lunk here. I appreciate you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. Like it, like, like, like the video and uh, comment. Let me know exactly what your thought process on starting a business from scratch. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to actually provide you with some basic overview steps of the videos that's coming up next on how to start a business and also as a bonus what I want to do is explain to you how you can start a business today with only $35 30, $35 okay so let's get into this video if you're looking to learn how to start a business from scratch then you need to know exactly what it takes for entrepreneurs in order to do this it's not just the entrepreneur lifestyle that you're looking for you need an instructional path in order for you to make well, not make the pitfalls that most entrepreneurs do, right? So what I want to do is give you just a few steps that you can take and then you can go into detail in the other videos. So the first step is actually to conduct your market research to see exactly if your product or service that you're trying to implement makes sense, right? You want to do that prior to even spending any money. You want to spend some time on Google doing a search or even going to your local library to find out if the information that you have is relevant. Also, what you can do in research is look at a business that's similar to the business that you're trying to go into. That would be like one of the best things. And if you have that time or you can make a connection, do call up a business owner. Trust me, sometimes, you know, they are busy, but you may catch an employee or two that may be able to answer some questions for you in regards to that type of business. But definitely take out the time to do your research before you start a business. So step two is writing a business plan. I am not an advocate of business plans. Trust me, I am not. But it's very important to actually have some type of plan ahead prior to you actually engaging. You should take this, the time to write down some steps in regards to what you're going to be doing and what you would plan to accomplish within your business in order to execute this on time. Not only time, you know, time does matter, you know, time is money, but you want to make sure that you have a great plan in place, especially when you may need to be able to scale your business. So it doesn't have to be 30, 40, 50 pages, but I suggest that you take the time out to write at least the bare minimum one page and your overview exactly what the, what type of business you have, what your business does, um, the key components of your business. Uh, the marketing part is especially very, very important, your marketing, and um, how are you gonna get the finances in order to do this business? Very, very important. Take the t uh, steps to do that with those things first, right? Number three is funding your business. So as I explained in the business plan, you're gonna have to know exactly how you're gonna have to fund your dream, this entrepreneurial lifestyle that you want, this life. Um, you want to know how you're going to fund this so it's very important at the very beginning that you know you have the funds if you do not have the funds to do what you need to do also what i did was i, I have a course that it goes into um more depth than what i'm going to go through in the couple of youtube videos i'm going to do in the series but um it shows you how to go to zero to about 150,000 in 90 days or less um, you can look in the description below and you can check that video if you're looking for any funding opportunities or if you're looking for more instruction details on how you can build your business credit and fix your personal at the same time. Um, you click that link below. But back to what I was saying, you need to make sure that your capital is right. So if you do have any sources, usually, you know, business only starts off with credit cards or uh, maybe borrow money from friends or family. But most likely you want to try to start something very easy and I will get to that later on in the video. So stay tuned. Step number four is location, 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 location. Very important. I can tell you right now, even for me, uh, my pitfalls in my business was location today's day and um you know if you're really looking to go into business i do you know advise that you actually pursue something online or mobile which is really good especially when your market may be shifting or you, you want to introduce your products into a different market either online or mobile that's what i'm just saying right now but location is very important um they do have apps for the uh location as well to find your perfect 
location to see exactly, you know, depending on what type of business you have. If you have a restaurant, obviously you want foot traffic, a lot of driving traffic if you have a merchandising store. And if you are not really worried about foot traffic or driving traffic, you just want to worry about online, then you need to make sure that you are able to build a good website that's able to either um, bring the traffic to you or you want to join on to a website such as eBay or Amazon, which is very important because they already have the traffic. You just need to find a product in order to service the people that's coming to the website, correct? So make sure you do that number five is structure you want to make sure that your business has some type of structure in place you want to make sure that your paperwork is done properly your um, phone number is done properly as well you want to make sure that you have a good business address even at a mailing address commercial address you want to make sure that you have the right people in place in order to help you accomplish what you're trying to accomplish in your business plan so you know making sure that you take the time to commit to fixing your structure is very important because this this is the pillars of your business this is the foundation that you're laying so you want to take that time out to actually um, implement this plan the plan that's in your business plan you know it could be a one pager it's very simple um but you want to make sure that your structure is correctly set up step number six is business name you want to make sure you have a really good name also you know just you know this is a fyi especially in business if you do make a name and you're committed to that specific industry and you make it industry specific like a just salad or a bob's burgers i don't know i just made that one up from a cartoon i was watching but um if you pick an industry that's specific to the name, then you pretty much are stuck with that because the name comes with the reputation as well. You're gonna build a reputation with that name and um, you're kind of stuck if you want to cross over into anything else. So my suggestion is you pick something that's more generic and get a DBA. If you do want something, let's just say you call it, uh, you can call it your name, whatever, or my, Emmanuel Lunk, LLC, right? And um, you file a DBA, um, then you can use that DBA to conduct business in whatever element that you choose from. Uh, that's my suggestion as far as business name. Next step is registering your business. You need to make sure that you go on your state registration in order to register your business properly in order for it to be found because this is going to be one of the foundations of business credit. Everything that I'm saying here is actually a foundation in business credit and building your business credibility. So you need to take the time out to do your research and you know, you don't have to use these third party companies in order to make sure that you establish your business name. You can actually go on Google to do this and um, most likely do it cheaper than whatever uh, a company may you know, give you the option to do it. You know, these packages that they may have and all this funny stuff, but you don't, you don't really need that in order to establish your business. So also, if you're liking this information, please comment below. Also, thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Do need the help. <laughs> nah, but definitely subscribe to the channel. Definitely want you guys to understand that, you know, I'm building up a community here and you guys will be able to benefit from the information I'm dropping for you guys, the jewels I'm dropping, right? So let's get on to the next section. So it is number eight, your tax ID number. Tax ID number is 100% completely free so do not pay for a tax id number your tax id number actually comes from the irs and it's auto generated okay i know there's like i said before there's tons of websites that offer different um solutions to for tax id numbers but you do not need to pay for your tax id number you need to go on the irs website in order to do this um and it's free 100 percent free and it's for new businesses it's generated automatically as soon as you finish the application this is done boom it's set so you need to complete your tax ID. Got it? Good. Step number nine is licensing and permits. You want to make sure that you go to your state's website before you do anything to find out exactly what you will need in order to operate business because you have to do it compliantly. And um, this is one, one of the key elements that we always preach in the course that you need to make sure that you set up your business properly, no matter what type of business that you have, so that you don't come into any legal complications later on in your business operation right so you want to make sure you take the time out to search your website and this is not even including you know you having business insurance or anything like that so take the time out to know what license your state actually needs your business to have in order to legally operate 
before it starts business. And now this brings us to our final step, step number 10. But before I tell you that, don't forget to comment below. Let me know exactly what steps you normally take in order to start your business from scratch. You know, I need to know your business one-on-one. Let us know, we're reading. Comment below, let us know exactly what your steps. List them, 10, one, two, you get it. So step number 10, that is opening your business account. Once you have all your paperwork in place, you have your business plan, you have the money set up. You need to go to the nearest bank. And what I when I say nearest bank, I, you can also do it online now. You can actually bank online, but you wanna look for the one that's more reasonable and feasible for your business to start off with the lowest minimum balance. And what you wanna do is uh, you wanna look for this bank and be able to put the money into the account because the day that you actually put this money into the account is the day that you actually start your business. So, you know, squash all the stuff the, the uh, myths about you know having these corpse that's 10 20 years old doesn't mean anything if it doesn't have any type of business file within the bank okay that is the day that you're in business so you must do that in order to show that you are working business with history okay yeah that's just basically it but um in the next videos i'm going to be doing to follow up this one we're going to actually break down from the steps that i gave you go into a little bit more detail on how you can do this how you can build your business from scratch and oh i almost forgot about one more thing i'm actually going to tell you exactly what is the business for 35 dollars, right you want to know exactly what business you can start for 35 dollars. so let me give you that before we go off this line so the business that you can start for 35 dollars is a referral business it doesn't require any type of licensing but it does require you to actually sign up on the site it's going to be on the description below where you'll be able to do um it's called credit repair referral so you'll be able to actually start a business referring people to get their credit fixed and you can actually use this for yourself in order to rebuild or build your credit or even you know my the biggest pet fees that i have with this uh, credit repair referral business is that you're paying a low monthly uh, fee in order to have a business but um you're able to make residual income so you're able to make residual income off the people you refer in you're able to make residual income off of you know your counterparts if you do have business partners that you want to bring in under you you're able to make money off of them so it is a business within a business a business in a box and it's only 35 dollars a month if you want a little bit more details on that just click the link below and i'll be able to provide you that information as well and again thanks for tuning in see you on the next session all right see you soon